This time last week, Sam McClure broke the news that Ben Brown had been given his marching orders from the North Melbourne Football Club. Today, mm. we learn that another shock departure from the North Melbourne Football Club, this time in the coaching ranks. Jade Rawlings learned early today, was blindsided, I gather, when he was told he would no longer be the senior assistant coach at the Cup Club next year. We can only assume that his brother, Brady Rawlings, broke the news. My understanding, Ross, is that Rhys Shaw, I think, probably was keen to get someone like Alan Richardson to the club as a senior assistant. Melbourne's offer was double the amount. Not saying who made the right choice there, but I feel that Jade Rawlings was probably foisted upon him. A bit difficult to say no when the coach who's the new head of footy suggests his brother. And you've got a bloke now who's had a, ter a really tough year in Reese Shaw. He is going to do it his way. He's got one more year in his contract. I like it. We're talking about leadership and yep. strong. Make the decision. You need chemistry in that role. And, and you need to come together under pressure well. Clearly, he's made the decision. The chemistry's not there, I would think. So get someone that you're going to be, be able to work closely with your respect for one of a better term or can work with and on the same page as you. And if you're going to go down, go down your way, Reese. That, that would be my advice. Well, I have enormous sympathy for him. I mean, he, he was really thrown to the wolves. He, he hasn't had a lot of support. I'm surprised that the CEO of the club, Ben Amafio, didn't spend the entire time up in the hub with the club, with a rookie head of footy and a rookie coach. I, I think that was sort of interesting. We know Reese. Incredibly was... surprising. We're talking about leadership. CEO, what better way to learn and understand your club and, as Eddie would say, the nuances and all the people but by being in the hub? It's a well, one-off opportunity. He didn't even get his Cara, footy boss. Cara, Go on, Ed. Cara, can I ask you, um, the Jade Rawlings, he's got two years left on his contract, has he? I'm not sure about... I think it might have been one year, Ed, but I, I don't think he had the huge payout that Lee Tudor had a year ago. Harold Sun reporting two more years okay. on his contract. OK, but I'm not sure that... It won't be a two-year payout. Those payouts just don't happen anymore at the North Melbourne Football Club. You could not possibly okay. justify that. The AFL... No, it, the, the contract is not nothing like that. But, I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a yeah. shock decision and it's a club that's made a lot of big decisions. And, gee, this, this bloke, Reece Shaw, has... He's had... He's had to work his fingers to the bone. That, that, I hope he has a break and I hope he comes back refreshed with some serious more help and support around they him They must next know year. who they're going to replace Rawlings with. If well, it, making that I'll tell you who won't be going there, and that is his brother Heath. This was Heath Shaw this afternoon on his departure from GWS. I've spoken to my brother and I'll, like, I can categorically say that I, I won't be playing at the Kangas next year. And I know I've sort of said I wasn't retiring, but it doesn't mean I, like I'm, I actually want to keep playing. If an opportunity came by to play again, I'd have to probably sit down and, and have a think about it. But right now and right here and right now, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable where I'm at. The footy yeah. boss has had to remove his brother, so it wouldn't really be a great look if the coach... That's right. And, and Ben Nile uh, was quoted in The Age today, his long-term manager, saying that he would only want to play on if it was for a team contending. He doesn't want to play a bit part in a rebuilding group and then go into coaching. So I just wonder whether, Ross, there's a team out there... I could there. go back to the Pies at Dane <laughs> Eddie, what do you think? Yeah. He'd play for I'd nothing. Him back. Wouldn't that yeah. be fantastic? If he, if he plays for nothing, I'll, you can, I think I'm going to ring him right now. <laughs> Let's get him on the line. <laughs> be fantastic. Now, we've got a few others to sign at the moment to get sorted out and... Uh, but uh, things to worry about. Can going I just forward. say quickly, but, uh, Sam? Yeah. Uh, Shorey, look, can you just say just just to finish on that before I jump in there, Lordy? What a great career for Heath Shaw. Yeah. The first time I saw him run around the boundary line of Victoria Park, I thought he had uh, hip problems. He was rocking back and forth away. I was running. I thought, God, this bloke, he can't even run. And there he is, you know, beating all the Shaws as far as games played. His smother in that 2010 Grand Final is something that is etched in all our minds. He's had a magnificent career. Good on you, Shorey. Certainly etched your mind. Well, I, mind I just want to say a brutal time for. <laughs> these coaches. So yeah, Gary Hocking gone as well yep. obviously and Rawlings. Uh, Carrie mentioned on Monday night that uh, uh, James Rowley has gone from Geelong to the Adelaide Crows. It's something Geelong I think did extremely well. Told him three months ago that you won't be with us next year. Gave him three months to try and get yep. a job for guys like Rawlings. Which he's now done. Who now, now, so I think it's fantastic what Geelong did. Pretty hard on guys like Rawlings who find out now and probably will struggle to get a position yeah, next no, year. Not, not well handled. No. A well-run footy club Geelong yeah. have been, though, for quite some time.